Good morning, everyone. My name is Danila Bracaglia, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm an historian and professional guide leading battlefield tours in the area of Monte Cassino and Anzio, but also other battlefields in Italy since 2005. My life has changed since I met decades ago the first group of veterans of Monte Cassino. Each veteran, each one of them, put a stone on the road for freedom. From Monte Cassino to Anzio, Rome and beyond. The majority of veterans that I met did not consider themselves a hero. During my tours, I met so many veterans, humble people, who always replied, most of the time, I was just doing my job. We need to learn from their example, from their sacrifice, and from what they had to endure during the Italian campaign. The least I can do is to remember and honor them. I don't want to, to talk about in detail about the battles I, I did so many times and you can get information from the web, from the books. What I want to do is to remember the individual soldiers who fought in Italy, stories that touch my heart through my tours or through my research. With their sacrifice and high sense of duty, they shaped a better world in which to live, which in which we are living. And we need to thank them for their sacrifice. I want to focus more on the stories of individual soldiers, stories that may be forgotten, but not for us. That's the story of uh, Sergeant Thomas Edward McCall, 36th Texas Division, under 33rd Regiment, Company F. He was a staff sergeant when it was decided that the Texans had to cross the so-called Rapido River, and he was ready for that. He was there. As we know, the Texans had hundreds of casualties between the 20th and 22nd January 1944, but the Texans should remember it in their history, in our common history, because the Texans in those days fought as bravely as the as during the Alamo. So the Texans should remember the Rapido River as they remember the Alamo. But let's go back to his country. Let's go to America and see where he was from. Well, he, he was born on um, 1916 in a, um, and grew up in a farm near Attica, and then moved to Lafayette as a young man, entering the military in 1939, before US involvement in World War II. He saw early action in Africa. On January 22nd, he was fighting in Italy, near Sant'Angelo. An icy footbridge floating on pontoons had been placed across the Rapido River, and US soldiers were ordered to cross it and fight strong German forces. As they crossed, they were hit 
by German machine gun fire. McCall, a staff sergeant, led his men across, but artillery shells fell nearby and he found himself the only member of his group not killed or wounded. The Americans themselves are going to attempt to cross the river which separates them from Monte Cassino, the Rapido. It's again the 36th Texan Division who suffered so much as San Pietro who are charged with forcing our way through. Utter failure. The 36th Texans stagger back exhausted to their starting point, having lost 1,600 men. Thomas McCall was called Tom by the friends. And I really feel he's like a friend of mine because I found so many information about him, about his family, not only about the war, but also after the war, what he did, what happened to him. He was awarded the Medal of Honor for an action on January 22nd, 1944, near Sant'Angelo, Italy. His citation reads in part, displaying outstanding aggressiveness he ran forward with the weapons on his hip, reaching at a point 30 yards from the enemy, where he fired two bursts of fire into the nest, killing or wounding all of the crew and putting the gun out of action. A second machine gun now opened fire upon him and he rushed in its position, firing his weapon from the hip, killing four of the gun crew. A third machine gun, 50 yards in the rear of the first two, was delivering a tremendous volume of fire upon our troops. Sergeant McCall spotted its position and valiantly went toward in the face of overwhelming enemy fire. He was last seen courageously moving forward on the enemy position, firing his machine gun from the hip. That scene, a few years later, after the Second World War, he was a veteran of uh, Korea. With 15 medals to his credit, he is among the most decorated veterans of World War II in America. The bronze and silver stars for gallantry and heroism are among his other honors. Tom was not only a brave soldier, but a man who helped his fellow comrades. At a certain moment, he said he found himself the only member of his group not killed or wounded. Under fire, he crawled into the open and pulled his wounded comrades back to safety. Then he ran, he ran at the enemy, firing a machine gun from his hip. He took out one machine gun placement. When another starting fire at him, he ran toward it, still firing from the hip. With the second group knocked out, a third started fire at him from 50 feet away and, and Tom ran right at it, still firing from his hip. I wonder if today he would recognize the clear water of the Rapido River. We know that the water turned red from the blood of the soldiers and I always remember that, and I do talk about that to all my tools. And when we are in Sant'Angelo, a prayer for these angels is always there in our mind. If Tom is not a hero, who can be considered a hero? After the Second World War, after the finish, after the World War ended, he went back to his 
home town in Indiana. He married Maxine and they had a son, the only son, Thomas Edward Jr. One day, when his son was eight years old, in 1965, that actually is the year where I, where I was born, his son was swimming on, in a river and he was risking to drown, to die. So to save his son, he lost his life. That was Thomas Edward McCall, a man with a generous heart who won his Medal of Honor for gallantry and lost his life for love. It's a picture of his son that I found a few years ago because now he, he passed away. Um, he's quite, he was quite young, 59 years old, and um, he, he leave one daughter. Uh, one daughter survived him. Uh, his daughter name is Cheyenne McCall of Frankfurt and I would love to meet her because she come from a great tradition of not only good soldiers, a good man with a bigger heart. May they rest in peace.